Would you like to skip the next case? Uh, cases which are uh, maybe skipped. No, we're doing all the cases. That would be the fun of this playthrough. I got all the DLC, so we got all the cases for this game, basically. Except maybe if there's any exclusive PS3 ones, but I don't think so, right? Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between mm. Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs. Sounds like shit. The vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on Probably side. a good reason. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Really, that's the case we get? Good. Just get going. a random car? <laughs> wow. This department's going to hell. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. Uh huh. Tell me more. I might want to do this. What are you doing? Moving away like that, you idiot. Ha, <laughs> you can't get it out of the way. Oh. Nope. 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 Aha. Oh no. You idiot. No, I wanted to stop you. Aha. Nope. Okay. Ha. Aha. Oh no, I opened the door for you. No. Fuck. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, oh, you fucking slut. Alright. Let's get out of here. Can we just be talking right now? Like my partner and I? Oh well. Um. Yep, this is our car. Okay, apparently he's an idiot. Where'd he go? Oh, okay. Nice job, moron. Get in here. Are you really doing this to me right now? Do I look like I have the patience of a fucking turtle? Not that turtles really have any exceptional pa- Are you a fucking moron? Okay. You know what? No. No, 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 no. Nope. How about that, huh? Huh? Did you learn a lesson now? You f Oh, okay, he didn't learn his lesson. Oh, now you come over to me. Yeah, look at that. You lost your hat. Look at that. You lost your hat now. Now you've left a blood stain on the fucking sidewalk. Great job, idiot. That was your fault, not mine. Dumbass. You hear about Avery? Fought in Seattle for a while. Life says she can't take it back. Women generally show more compassion. What are you talking about? Avery and Well, the Seattle one didn't. Margaret should show some pride. Pride comes with the world of See, Cole's more understanding. You're just an idiot, Bukowski. Go kill yourself. Be more compassionate, you stupid fuck. If you're not, then go kill yourself. Phelps, traffic. I'm off to Hulahan. Wow. Park down the alleyway. <laughs> That's totally not like a character last name. Hulahan. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle. Yes, sir. The car has. Actually, flags. we didn't get a call. Might well, some kind of diplomatic not vehicle. us. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. The and operator that did. Bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll wow. Talk to him in a moment. Oh, it's gonna, gonna be the creepy old man. All right, let's sure, do this. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed little <gasps> son of a bitch. Anyway. Look, look at the guy. He's spying on us. I see you. Nope. We're running him first. Hold on. Nope. I'm not looking at any of them. Let's fuck this. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Huh? You know it's illegal to stare at crime scenes, huh? Gotta be something big, right? Oh yeah, yeah, there's something big, you mafioso looking fuck. I'm I'm got my eye on you, bitch. I could arrest you right now, but I'm 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 too nice for that. Wait, hold on, did he just look like me? Okay, I thought that guy looked like me. He just said idiot whoop. Whoa. Okay then. <laughs> I got feet of steel, apparently. Uh, uh, let's do the obvious thing first and talk to this douche. Not a loss. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Check the car and the okay, this nope, I'm fine. Don't want okay, I get it, idiot. Yeah, I, I want to talk to that guy, never mind. It's owned by the Argentinian Embassy. Ooh. Foreign. 
suspicious. Taking the flag as a souvenir can't have any street value. Well, I mean, what do you expect from foreigners, Cole? Jesus. Oh wow. Why the? I guess I just decided to leave the bricks there. Uh, I didn't, didn't bother taking them out just for it would be a waste of time. All right, let's see. Because that'd be pretty stupid to leave them there. It's the sky. That's what I was thinking of first. Wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Hmm. Well, do these people really look like they're organized, huh? Check the trunk. Empty. Oh. Oh, okay, if I can back out of that. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh. 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 Another cigarette packet. But it means nothing this time. Alright. Oh, I'm sure this is gonna be something good. Let's look at that softball. Baseball. Really, Cole? Maybe they threw it there, huh? Maybe it has their fingerprints. Oh, right, we're in fucking 1940s. God damn it! Fucking game! Alright. Ooh. A wrench in a crime scene involving a car? Preposterous! Combination wrench. Ooh. Interesting. I'm pretty sure these bottles have something to do with it. I know that the music sounded telling me that it's over, but this isn't I'm not convinced. Oh, okay, Cole. Whatever. Clearly, my genius is just not. Clearly, I'm just you know my genius is just not recognized yet. Oswald Jacobs. That's right. Ooh. What exactly Don't give me that grin. Yeah. Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty <laughs> lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Uh -huh. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be a uh, call. Don't. Sonny. Yeah, Cole, don't be a anyway, dick. Last night, I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Ooh. Did you see it? Or did you do it? It's the real question. Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. <gasps> I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. I called it. I called it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them. <sighs> Those sick the fucks. So they loaded up their car and drove off. Tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. <laughs> yeah, he said it was Mexican, not Spanish. <laughs> Cole. All right. After the uh, Mexicans left, <laughs> you didn't go anywhere near the car. After I scared him off. Oh, no, you such I big. I didn't go anywhere near that car. <laughs> Game's just kind of giving this one away from me. Oh God. Jeez, you have a really shitty grin. All right. How do you know there were three of them? It was dark. It must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? Mm, about the number of them? I doubt that. Uh, which, uh, nothing that really indicates that it wouldn't. That would be any particular number of them. <laughs> you think two would be enough? But uh, let's see. Marked. You're off the hook, for now. Okay, we're gonna doubt you. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. <laughs> Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look no, around the car? A... You can't be accusing me of nothing. So I can be accusing you of something. Ha ha. Plagued by your own logic there, buddy. Tell me about the car they were driving. 
It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Oh, you didn't know. Well, maybe he didn't. Whoa, that's grainy. I don't know, he seems pretty believable to me. Uh... Wait, does it, it's already telling me what the license plates are? It's already telling me what the number is here, what the fuck? Where do they... Uh... Is it telling me here? What? Come on, let me just... You were drunk oh, shit. The dark. What's with the smoke screen about the car, Vickers? You got better information about that vehicle than I'm giving you? You better use it. Uh, apparently I already know the license plates, but I don't see how that fucking matters. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. Damn. Well, can't we see it right there? What exactly Let's did see. you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Uh, no, that's not all that was took. Very obviously. Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? Maybe I am. You seem, you seem to be leading me that way. If you're for stupid questioning. <laughs> uh. Uh. How the fuck do I prove that? Uh. I mean, yeah, license plates are gone. It doesn't mean he took them, right? Like flag removed from uh port stripped and dumped. An empty lot. Don't ask, you never find out. Uh hold on. Let me just redo this. Let me just see this uh here we go. Uh Okay, so he confesses to so he misses the uh, tires were taken. That's it. Well, actually, I guess that is good enough, isn't it? Like, oh, scratching around in that book will prove nothing. You should show me some respect. Okay. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. God damn it. When you get the car out of the way... I've done this better before, so this kind of bothers me, but kids. whatever. Well, how about we we'll deal with it. Mask. Oh, you son Jacob of a bitch. Jacob the book he was reading in a hurry when we walked up. I'm curious what he did want us to see. Hmm. Yes, I remembered this. I was actually going for. Point of Francisco... Valdez. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle, a degenerate. I'll run John Madsen by R and I. Wait, what about John Madsen? Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. Hold on, how do we? I like how we call them that. Like, we're not breaking the fourth wall at all here. Uh, I wonder if I was supposed to try to take that book beforehand. I don't. I don't think that would have mattered. I think he would have just given it to us if I got it right. But those no account beaners used to own the whole of Los Angeles, but we ran them off. How about you get on with catching them? Oh, I see. I see how it is, huh? You think you can boss me around? Um, I'll have you know, I am a detective, which means I'm better than you. So, um, I don't take shit from you. And if I had a choice, I'd pull a gun and shoot you in the fucking head. That's right. 
but I'm bound by this bullshit code of ethics, my fucking job, so... Fuck this game. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, detective? Start by sucking my cock. Running, Dewey Brothers, possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers. Dewey Brothers Dewey Packard Brothers. dealership, six two nine Figueroa Street. Figueroa. Hearing that word Can a lot. Through to Michigan Her name, I guess. Connecting you now. Yeah, hold on. How do we connect? Does David Madsen or? Hello, Holy shit! Me? Is it David Madsen? LAPD, oh, Madsen. John Madsen. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag life is strange vibes. <laughs> How old is your mother, ma'am? Just turned sixteen. Oh. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. I remember being younger. I remember being like ten or something. <laughs> it's like yeah, definitely not him. A four door Packard, diplomatic license number, Paul Robert, seven. Well, can't you uh was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's mm. demanding an audience, as he calls it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Lee? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. I mean, if he's six, if he just turned 16, Thanks, isn't, he's old enough to, you know, be driving in a car. Can you it's very off well plausible. The vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. Hold on. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. Um, get a statement from Jacobs. Didn't we just fucking talk to him? Like, Jesus. Whatever. Uh, how did we conclude with this whole John Madsen bullshit? I, I don't know why we picked his name out of the whole thing. We can I'm, I know I must have known that before when I played, but I don't, I don't, character. I didn't catch it now. We guys didn't before even, who knows? Uh Let's go to this Packard bullshit place first. I don't remember which is I think I've always done Packard first, but goes first, but No, these are boring. Guys nah, traffic's good, but... Good point, Bukowski. For once, you're sensible or something. And, and now you lost me, buddy. Fuck you. Go suck a cock. In the ass. Cunt. Alright. What the hell? Why did it... You fucking... Stupid taxi, why don't you stop there? Taxis are normally the ones that are supposed to be fucking speeding, like boosting ahead. You stupid fuck. Oh my god. Well, let me do one thing. I feel like it's too loud. Like I can barely hear myself. I don't like that. I like to hear the sound of my own voice. This bothers me. Saving content, please don't turn off your system. Okay, I won't. Don't worry about that. I'm Mr. Joe. I mean, Dr. Joe. So. <laughs> uh, that was not intentional or anything, just to make a joke. Uh, anyway. Don't tell me, let me guess. You're making your way past the lot. Caught sight of oh, the model this help car salesman bullshit. You see Here we go. In that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, <laughs> Bukowski smiling. You can't say <laughs> as LAPD you blame Mac. me. We'd like to speak with the owner. That That's me, William Dewey, I literally do not know how service. to interpret that, or I'm not even going to bother thinking about it. The Argentine embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective, but I know how we can find out. Follow me. Yay, I love your pip and sheer. Oh, okay, now you look like an asshole. Hmm, hold on, let's look at his face. Look at that, look at this guy. Hold on, look at him. Look at his smug, uh, not smug, but look at his freaking douchebag look. It's all front. 
Just like, a, just like all car salesmen. Be my guest. Uh, sure I am. You guys aren't interested in a new car, huh? Maybe a used car. <gasps> I have some Another nice puzzle. Cars for guys in your wage bracket. Just like the one before. Oh my god. Go sell some cars or whatever it is that you do. What? Really? That's not right. Wait. Really? Oh. That didn't look right to me, but okay. Here we are. Oh my god. Exciting, intense gameplay. Puzzle solving to the extreme. Really test your wits. One what left. will you accomplish? I'm pretty sure we can already figure out what's going on here, Cole. But, well, I guess if you need to know the size, Gabriel but... Delgado is missing a three-quarter. Interesting. Okay, there's more to look for here, apparently. Oop. It doesn't appear to be connected. You know, I remember there being something really fucking... Let's see. A license play. <sighs> oh, okay. I remember there being something really confusing about this part. Incidental. Like there's a clue somewhere that's so fucking I don't know, so obscure or something. Oh wait. Here we are. Is this it? No good. We need diplomatic. Oh, okay. I think that was actually it. <laughs> I don't know how I'd never uh, stumbled upon that. Because usually when I'm in these detective modes, I just hug the walls <laughs> to hear any ding dings. But whatever. All right, let's go talk to this jackass. Look at you, just uniformly you standing there. Question. Apparently, wow. Well, apparently, it doesn't. You didn't even say anything. You know. Packards are great cars, but this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know Valdez? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Oh yeah. Hmm. Your stupid face there is kind of making me think otherwise. But hmm. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I see. And I know a shyster when I see one. You and Valdez are in this together. Me and Valdez? I hardly know him. Valdez would wipe <laughs> his shoes. With me. Oh, really? Wait, how do you know he wouldn't wipe his shoes if you if you don't know him, huh? Huh? I found your faulty logic there. Also, your name's here. We found your contact details in Valdez's notebook. He had to be calling you for something, Dewey. Okay. So I met Valdez <sighs> in the bar. You're he gay. Oh. He bought the car through the embassy. I cut him some change on the side. It happens all the time. Does it really? Hmm. Where can we find Delgado? I don't know. Sure as hell in here. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Oh, okay. Well, that's fucking obvious. Uh. Wait, who are we trying to find? Oh, Delgado. Uh, me. You're lying. You got him holed up somewhere. I'm having nothing to do with that kid. You can't prove any different. Yeah, I don't think I can. Let's take one quick browse here without really looking. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's nothing. Um. I'm having nothing to do with that kid and you can't prove any different. Sorry. I'm Wait. Time to have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Okay, we're gonna take a risk. Address. Okay. Or my partner shoves her head in a car Oh, jeez. Okay, all right. Apartment three one zero three Hill Street. Damn, you got that fast. Tell it from me. 
If he ever shows his face around here again, I'm gonna kick his butt from here to kingdom come. Is that an actual place? I don't know. I just wrote it as like two words, but. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. Ooh. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. Three, actually. We've got a spade of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Interesting. These bastards will steal anything the minute your back is turned. <laughs> yeah. Almost like a useless car salesman. Hmm, you look like you have a stern conviction going on here now. Stop lying to me, Dewey. The thieves work for you. You can't prove that. Go ahead and try. Uh... I don't know how I can, actually. Let's see. Missing Argentinian flag. Uh... Missing Argentinian flag. Sorry, well, well, why am I stuck on that? That, that? that has nothing to do with anything. Okay. <laughs> License plate. Missing wheel. The only thing is a stolen wrench, but I don't know how that necessarily... Hmm. The minute your back is turned. Uh, well, huh, I mean, stealing, I mean, he did, he did, he did say that the wrench, he basically implied that the wrench was stolen already, so me just declaring that more. Well, if you have nothing to do, I have a few cars you could wash. How does 10 cents a car sound? Fuck you. Uh, so just declaring that, um. It's stolen, I don't think it's really gonna say much, like, Aha! Your wrench was stolen, like I already said. That means you're working for them, or they're working for you. Makes perfect logic sense. What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it! You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. Yeah. So I hire a few illegals. <laughs> it's cheaper than hiring God, turning GIs, and they have less attitude. Downside is... They're a little light-fingered. Thank you for your help, Mr. Dewey. No problem. Yeah, now fuck off. God damn that kid. I'm just God an damn you. car salesman. No, you're not. Like you just don't we know call you on, like, three lies. Going to movies, Dewey. You're missing your calling. Time to yeah, visit acting. And you're shitty at that, too, because we got you easy, bitch. God. You gotta learn from the real master here. The master manipulator. Dr. Joe, a.k.a. Cole Phelps, a.k.a. Max Caulfield, and any other character I play in the future. Uh, okay, if I go to Delgado's residence first, this is the, this is the part of the game that really bothers me, is when I have a choice between two different places. Because sometimes, depending on what you do, if you go a certain, if you choose a certain thing, you're not going to get to do the other thing. You know, if you choose that certain thing first. You know, and and they have no, they make no indication of that being the case. So it kind of fucks you over if you want full completionist. Poo poo. Uh, no, I don't know why I said poo poo. Uh, full completionist. You know. Mentality. Whatever. What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Third dimension would be Z. So things would be popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. <laughs> God's name is want that. Oh, you'd be surprised. Look what we have now. You know, and Cole's got a good point there, but you know, I'm not really a big fan of 3D. I don't know. It just, whenever I watch movies, I don't really seem to notice the 3D that much. So I don't think it really happens all that often. Either it doesn't happen all that often, 
like when, whenever I go to the theater and I see a 3D version of a movie, I barely notice the 3D. So either it's not really happening, it's barely implemented, or I just really don't fucking pay enough attention to notice and care. I don't know. So that's, and, and it costs like $3 extra in, in the theater, so it's like kind of a waste of money to me. But friends always want to see it that way, so... Although, an interview too. And get this, he's wearing gloves and doing his best not to touch anything. Can you beat that? <laughs> that <laughs> no. Keep this guy waiting. It's this way. I think we bust in there and find the goddamn. 